Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Civil Softwares. Today we are going to learn about using basic tools in SAP software so that we can later on model, analyze and design uh, buildings and other structures easily. So at first we need to be familiar with the tools and uh, SAP 2000 software. So when you open the SAP application, you will have the interface like this. All of the other icons uh, or tools are currently frozen because we have not done anything. So we need to create a new model at first. So go to file menu, then click on new model. Then a window appears like this. So at first, what you need to do is uh, assign the units. You can see different kind of units over here. So for now, uh, I am choosing uh, kilonewton, meter, and Celsius. And default materials I am sticking on India. Uh, okay, then if you want to write about your project, then you can get from modify or show information. You can enter the company name, client name, project name, project number, and everything here, and just click on OK. Uh, for for now, I'm not doing it. Then after you can go to grid only though you can see different kinds of options over here currently i'm going to show about the grids so you can go and click on the grids now the window appears like this so number of grid lines in x direction uh, four which means that number of lines which are perpendicular to x direction is four so there are four lines which are perpendicular to x direction so there are four lines which are perpendicular to y direction so for differentiating it i'm going to use uh, five here and i'm going to use three in y direction and in z direction i'm going to give uh, four lines okay this is about the numbers only now if you want to specify the spacing then you can click here so we have set our units to meters so the grid spacing of the lines perpendicular to x direction is six six meter okay that's fine in y direction it's six but i'm just going to keep four five over here in z direction three okay it's uh it's oh, it's okay but i'm just gonna place here 2.5 we are just doing random stops over here so i'm going to click on ok you can later on edit this grid system so this is for the reference only after you click ok you get these two windows on one window you get the 2d surface whereas on the other you can see here 3d surface now wherever i uh, move my mouse you can see on both windows where i'm pointing you can see in the 2d plane as well as in the 3d uh, view too so in xy plane you can see here it's on z equals to 7.5 so that means we are not on ground floor so if you have to go on ground floor we can just click here and just go down z equals to zero means our baseline so you can see this z equals to zero is on the ground floor this this blue blue plane which comes here this is the bottom plane so if you want to go on the first floor you can just click here and move up in the list so this is in z equals to 2.5 if you want to go further up you can go here it's five it's five means it's from the base so you can further go on and go up to 7.5 and again you can return to zero so this is how you can go from uh, one floor to the other so in 3d view also you can see uh, different uh, planes clearly so if you want to rotate this you can go to this option over here which says rotate 3d view and when this icon this this cursor appears you can just click the mouse button and just rotate wherever you want you can rotate and for minimizing and maximizing you can use the uh, cursor um, of the mouse button just like this just like this you can do it very easily from the 
mouse cursor now if you want to move the window from uh, so that you can just orient the mm, view according to your choice you can go to the pan option here you can click that and when this hand appears you can just move wherever you want you can move wherever you want after the hand appears just like this so this is how you can do it this is the basic things that you can do so if you want to save this file you can go to the file and just click on save as and save wherever you want to save we are just going basic uh, but we will slowly and gradually go and uh, model and uh, analyze and design complete residential building too. Uh, then what I wanted to show you is let's see. We assigned uh, one, two, three, four, five lines on the X direction and three on the Y direction. So if you want to change this grid system, what you need to do is right click on the mouse button then go to the edit grid data then you can see here you can see modify and show system you can go over here now you can add or delete the grid so this is the x grid data this is y grid data and this is z grid data so if you want to do something about x grid data that means these lines if you want to do something on these lines then you can do from here so here what you need to uh, take care of is you have two options over here ordinates and spacing so at first let me uh, clarify what ordinates is so if you click on ordinates every distance that you assign uh, are from the reference point or the initial point a for example this b here it, it says six meter that means it's six meter from a in c it's 12 it means it is from a a to c it's 12 a to D it's 18, A to E it's 24. So ordinate means it starts from the reference point, not the successive points from the reference point. So, but if you want the spacing, that means from the successive points, you can just click on a spacing. So what you can find here is the distance between A and B is six. Distance between B and C is six. C and D is six. D and E is it's six. So same goes with the Y2. In the y, y grid, we have three lines. That means on the uh, axis which is perpendicular to y direction. This means this line, this line, and this line. We have three lines. The spacing of these lines is five, five meter each. So this is five meter, and this is five meter. So if you want to change here and keep six, you can just do it very easily. Okay. So you can do this very easily. It's not a big deal. Um you can also if you want to uh, add a grid let's let's add a grid on the x direction okay so we have five lines uh, one two three four and the other line this five line so let's make it four okay at first level. so let's delete this e so we can just delete this so if we delete this and uh See here, it's one, two, three, four, five because it's it has not been activated. So click on OK, click on OK. Then you can see here one, two, three, four lines. So this is how you can edit. So let's again go to the edit grid data. Let's go to modify source systems. So now what I want to do is add a grid in Y direction. So what I can do is I can just come here and just click on add. So one another option will come but here is on ordinates but i want to keep it on spacing so that i can just figure out what distance i need to uh, put uh, between the successive lines so if i keep here uh, let's let's keep here okay so here what you need to uh, take care of is the distance between one and two is six distance between two and three is five distance between three and four is five distance between 3 and 4 is 5 so now let's see what happens click on ok then click on ok so what happens here is one another grid line 4 it appeared over here right so this is how you can edit the grid data and see
so this is the xy plane you can just see it if you want to go on x z plane what does x z plane means is this is x direction this is z direction and this is y direction so x z plane means this surface if you want to go to this plane then you can just click on x z plane so what we can see this is our elevation and the blue plane that you can see on this 3d uh, surface is representing this plane on the 3d surface so this is our first story this is our second story and this is our third story so this is the first surface now if you want to go on a, to the next plane then you can just click here then you can go to the another plane so the blue color is highlighting the second plane similarly if you want to go to the other plane you can go to the other plane so the blue plane in the 3d uh, face is just clearly showing which plane we are in so another one two we can go like this and in another one we can go just like this so this is how you edit the grid data now in the next video i'll be showing you how to assign loads define section properties define materials and all the stuffs that we need for analyzing a simply supported beam so that's it for today thank you guys keep supporting and bye bye